Hi, um, this is kind of my first YouTube video, but um, it's nice to meet you. My name is Harry, or Foxglove, or <laughs> whatever. Um, and I am an artist and a singer-songwriter. I have a podcast I just started with my sister. Um, I have a TikTok where I sing and talk a bit. I have an Instagram where I post art. <laughs> and I decide I kind of want this platform to be like a melting pot of like a lot of my interests. And one of my other interests that is, I don't say, I wouldn't say it's new. I think it's kind of existed for a long time, but it's existed more intensely in the last year or so, I would say, is like interior decorating and stuff. Ignore that, by the way. Um, so I also happen to be moving um, in TBD, I guess. Um, me and my parents are working on selling our house um, because my parents are going to build their house and um, we're going to move in with, with my sister and I'm going to live with her for a little bit. I don't know how long. Um, but yeah, and then I might get a house or an apartment or something. But for the meantime, for at least a year, year and a half, I'm going to be living there, and my bedroom here at my parents' house has been very plain for a while because um, they've been trying to sell their house, and the best way to sell a house is with having a plain house. Um, so I've been going through a lot of my decor and like getting rid of stuff, donating stuff, and at the same time slowly shopping around for new stuff and also just tr like trying to find what I like, you know what I mean? Um, and so I feel like I found my style a bit more. Um, and I want to show you some of the stuff I've accumulated so far. Um, uh, where should I start? I guess I should do maybe all the wall stuff first. So, as you can already kind of see back here, I thrifted these two prints. I should also say, I feel like my style is very eclectic. I feel like I like, like, some very classy, like, <laughs> classy, I don't know if that's the right word, um, preppy almost stuff, like very just antique -y, preppy stuff, but also like contemporary stuff and colorful stuff, and I love mid-century modern, or mid-century, I should say. Um, I don't really, I feel like mid-century modern feels like, like an ugly, like, target, target dresser that has like angled legs. It's like, I don't even know, $2,000. But no, I like mid-century a lot. Um, but yeah, so I got these at Goodwill for like seven, seven ninety nine dollars each. This one, and then this one is very similar. It's pretty different for me. I would say it's a little more in like a grown up sort of, you know, style. <laughs> but yeah, and I have a lot of stuff packed too. This isn't, this is something I got like a year and a half ago, but it's one of my favorite finds ever. It's just this classic Van Gogh sunflower, like professionally framed and matted thing for like probably seven or eight bucks. Um, a similar note to that, something I bought literally today, I bought a giant frame. Do you know those metal frames that like, can come apart um and stuff like like they're thin metal and they come apart i bought it all together but i don't think and this might be controversial if anyone cares i don't think i'm keeping the print this is the print it's van gogh starry night it just i feel like i like it of course it's a beautiful painting but like it's just a little overplayed? I don't know, and I already have a Van Gogh thing in my room, so I'm, I'm either gonna find a print on Etsy or eBay to buy. Like, I, I kind of feel like something kind of simple and abstract, or like painterly, you know, would be nice just because it's so big. It's, I think I made sure it's like 25 by 30, which doesn't sound huge, but like, it, it is, it is large, you know, and so I might even try to paint something on the back of this. I am an artist, not a painter. But I don't know, if I did paint something, I wouldn't really want it to look like my work. Like, I feel like I'd want to do something kind of abstract and painterly, and I just need to do a lot of research and try to find paintings that I like and prints that I like, and maybe just, maybe just get a print. Um, but yeah. So, okay, we're still doing wall stuff, or like, picture hangings, I guess. I got this print a few weeks ago, and part of me regrets it a little bit. I really like it. And I think it could just be the frame and like the combo together. It just feels very, very young and very, I don't know, a little more like kitschy than I normally want. I will say at my sister's house, I have a bedroom that's very weird and has a very big walk-in closet that I'm going to have like my art corner in just because a lot of my, like, I feel like the art that I make most of the time and the art that I really like is very different from like my, my design style. It's like a, a touch more mature than like this so this will probably go in there 
and I have a blue frame that I actually spray painted for something else that didn't work out that I also just might put like a cute art print just because it, it'll be like just a little like silly fun cute space I'll have like fairy lights or whatever in it it's very different vibe from my bedroom um this has a bit of a story I thrifted this um art the this or I, I didn't thrift it I found it at an antique mall it was like 10 bucks and long story short, she kind of looks like me. Um, let's see if I can... <laughs> I don't know, she kind of looks like me. And I think she's really beautiful. And I don't love, it's like a wooden frame that was painted black. And I really don't like that. But I also feel like it's really, really different from a lot of the frames I have. And maybe that's a good thing. Um, so a part of me wants to paint this, but like with it being a black and white print, I don't know what I should do. Does anyone have suggestions? I would be completely fine reframing it. I like my gut instinct is like a thin silver chrome frame because those are my favorite frames. And I even saw one today at that Goodwill whenever I went. But I just I, I honestly kind of forgot about this whenever I saw that. So I don't know. Should I try to find a, a a silver chrome frame? I mean, those thin silver and gold frames are one of the easiest things to find at the thrift store. So like it's kind of always there. So do we like this? just combo I guess you know I don't know I feel like I shouldn't have shown this guy with all the other ones since it's kind of whatever um this next one I actually painted this um and I really like it also all this stuff is flipped so it looks a little different in person I haven't ow I just <laughs> I haven't painted like the border of it like this which I always do like a fun color because it's my favorite thing I've ever painted, and so I'm really scared, and I don't know what color to do. So please leave me a color suggestion. I would prefer it to be a color that's already in the painting. I feel like light blue would be quite nice, so it's probably going to be light blue. I've just been kind of putting it off, but tell me what you think. I think light blue would be um, cute. Um, well, this is one of the last, I think it's the last like frame. I absolutely love this print. I got this print the same time I got the earth front front the earth print and I just love it so much and I actually put it in that blue frame that I showed like the same it's the red um and I didn't like it like I thought I hated the entire thing and regretted buying it which sucked because it was honestly the print was pretty cheap for a print but like it was tw it was 20 bucks you know so I don't want to be like oh I don't like it but I realized it I didn't like it because it, there was no mat and first of all I love mats I feel like very rarely I guess like this would be a good example of like when it's allowed <laughs> should there be a a print sorry there's a hair tickling my nose should there be a, a print without a mat or a photo without a mat um so yeah it honestly <laughs> I was also looking at like big like wire frames for this you know and I went to Walmart and I bought one of their like seven dollar plastic frames <laughs> and I know that is not ideal but I think it does kind of give the faux thin wire frame it's not ideal it's real glass in here you might not think it is but it's very thin real glass but I love it so much it's actually one of my favorite things and I felt like I needed more contemporary art because I had a, I have a decent amount of like you know like oil paintings and stuff and these look so different from each other but I just hope and pray in my room it'll be good. I'm also doing a DIY this week for a bed canopy that'll go in my room and I'm very excited so I might try to make a video out of that. Um I think that's all the wall hangings. Yeah or the, the the frames I guess or the whatever. Um but yeah also really quick if you like this art that I painted I actually have a stack of paintings that I am going to sell of mine. Um so yeah, I guess I should show some of them now before we move on too much. Um, I have this little tomato one that has like a little green border. I did this a few days ago. Um, today's Tuesday and I did that on Sunday, I think. And this was the first painting of these. This is the first painting I've done in like a year or something. Or maybe not a year, but it's okay. I like it. It was like a stepping stone painting, so that was nice. So yeah, I like this one. And then after that, I think I did this one the next the next morning I think I really liked it and then the same day I did this one I did this one um it's okay it, the colors aren't fully what I wanted it's kind of streaky um I don't know how much I'm gonna charge for these but not 
a ton because I feel like I could literally repaint any of them if I wanted to. The pomegranate painting is one of my favorites. It just is very not my, not really my decor style. Like I just wouldn't really hang it up. Um, so yeah, I also did a, a painting for my sister that I'm a big fan of. That I really like that she has and I'm very happy about it. Here it is, fish painting, little sardines. And last one that I finished like an hour ago probably is this little goldfish painting. It's not perfect at all, but I really like it. I gave it like a bright red border. I didn't show most of the borders of these are red because that's my favorite color, I think. I Well, I, I kind of just said that like randomly. Is red my favorite color? I also like cobalt blue, but like neon red and like cobalt blue, this shelf almost. Maybe not as purple, but yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm gonna sell all these. I don't know how much yet, but my Etsy is linked in the description and you can check out any of these if you want. Um, I wanna sell more stuff, but paintings are just easy because they're not like prints or stickers. Like you can just, it's just one and done. You know, it's not like getting them reprinted and stuff um, from someone else because I don't have the best printer. And then, okay, this is technically a wall hanging, but it's not a, um, frame. I bought this vintage fish rug. I love fish, obviously. I bought this vintage fish rug, which I think psychologically, this was accidentally inspired by this, like a more saturated, colorful version. Um, I bought this vintage fish rug on eBay for $26. There is an eBay shop that sells only vintage. Well, I'm not a hundred... It says vintage, sure. It feels, it's very thick. It feels very thick and very good quality. This is the back. It's not stinky. It's very clean feeling, um, very, very soft. Like it feels new. I don't know, maybe it was just cleaned. Um, these vintage rugs that some of them are like two by three, which I think this one is just like a, a doormat. I'm not using this as a doormat. I'm using it. I'm hanging it on the wall as like a tapestry, if that wasn't, if that wasn't clear. Um, but they sell a bunch of vintage rugs, um, and that's one of them. I don't know. They have a million fish rugs. I thought that they, like, were out. Like, I, I thought that that was one of the last ones, but they have even more, and they're really cute. So, um, you have to be very diligent. You might not get the one that you want, because they are bids, by the way. They are bids that start at 99 cents. And on this shop, there's, like, a thousand of, of these rugs. Like, just random vintage rugs. There's some really gorgeous ones. And anyone under like four by six or something, also this is not sponsored, as if I would have a sponsor on my first video. Um, what was I saying? Like, there's just so, so many. And all of them start at like 99 cents, yeah. The bigger ones that are larger than four by seven, four by six or four by seven, I don't know, are like a hundred dollar shipping, which is very fair. But that that rug went for I got for twenty-five dollars, twenty-six dollars, I think. And I love it so much. There's some area rugs of fish. I don't know if they're still left, but yeah, there was a bunch the other day when I looked. So now that we're not doing wall hangs, I guess I should do lamps. I'm not going to move one of the lamps because I got a floor lamp from Ikea. This one, I know getting a lamp like this that a lot of people have isn't like probably the best design advice, but I just love it. And I feel like for something that's popular or trendy, if you really, really like it and you really do that soul searching to like, not just think about like, okay, am I only liking this because it's what I'm seeing online or with my friends or whatever, or in a magazine or whatever, I don't know. If you look past that and you decide like, okay, this really does just spark joy, then get it. It was $109. So like objectively pricey for me, but I really love it. I've never had a floor lamp and I love a floor lamp. I love a lamp in general. And the second thing that I have to bring up is another lamp. I got this at an antique mall and it's this beautiful like can, can lamp that's like, from the 80s maybe? Um, I love it so much. It does, not that I have to prove it, but it does in fact, oh my god, this socket is new. Okay. <laughs> it does in fact work. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I think it's so beautiful. It could just sit on a table like that. I mean, that would be kind of weird lighting, but I, what I would love is like for it to sit on a table in front of like a, a piece of artwork. Like it's lighting it up from the bottom. It would be really pretty, but I'm actually going to use it as a sconce. It has a little sconce hook on the back. Um, I'm going to use it as like my bedside sconce. I was originally wanting to get like coordinating sconces. 
scary. Um, coordinating, matching, like a pair of sconces. And I just found this guy at, a, at an antique mall. I need to stop doing that. And it was 20 bucks and I love her so much. Um, and I was literally, this, this, buying this, um, sconce literally made me, um, I, I'm painting my walls at my sister's house because she owns her house and she doesn't care. And she has really good style, like really, really good style. Um, so she gets it. I'm, but this lamp being white, I was like, but I don't know. If I'd love it on white walls. And I was like, I should just paint my walls. So I asked her and I'm going to paint my walls. Um, I'll put up the, uh, do I want to? I might put up the swatches. I also just might not to. Might, might not want to. Um, it's just like this beigey yellow color. And then I'm doing the trim like a shade darker. That's like a tiny bit of green in it. I think it'll be really good. Um, so yeah, super excited for that. But yeah, I, I have this. It's not just for this, but like I have a white, um, I have a mirror with a white frame. I have some random white furniture and print. Like, I just, I don't know. Like there's some things that just, I don't know. I love white and I love white being able to be an accent because of like a room with not white on the walls, I guess. Um, so yeah. Um, what else do I have left? Not much. I have, um, I'm not going to show it, but I did get, um, a new duvet cover and new sheets. And I was going to splurge, but then I realized like, oh, it's really expensive. So I got kind of a placeholder duvet, which I don't love doing because I had a duvet cover before. But when I say placeholder, I mean like a year probably. I don't know when I'll get a new duvet cover, but I got a really, really, I'm just going to describe it because I'm not going to show it to my bed. A really, really, really dark green that's like, it has like a tiny bit of blue. I don't love emerald green, but it feels darker than emerald. I got that and then these really, really pale peachy sheets um and then i got i just got this from amazon but then my splurge <laughs> this is a splurge for me is i got these gorgeous linen pillowcases and they're so pretty and they're so soft like they're a really nice texture um they're not like silky but like i don't know they're nice um these are like my splurge item they were like 30 dollars for two pillowcases which i objectively know in the, the design world that's not that expensive but it was for me um and these really dress up the bed it makes it so good um so yeah i just wanted to show that and then today in the mail i all i feel like i've been getting so much stuff recently but today in the mail i got um this blanket and i'm a little on the fence about it it's it's a little damp it's a wool blanket and now that i see it here i feel like i like it more i just i'm so scared of it just looking like christmas especially because i have the dark green duvet cover with red pillows but I feel like there's enough teal which I'm not really a teal fan but I like it in it but it's a 100% wool blanket and it's not huge it's just a throw but I think it's so pretty and it would even be a good like backdrop it's not very big actually but if not I have a little tiny chair <laughs> that sounds so silly I have a small like wooden and upholstered chair that I might have at my sister's maybe. It's in storage. It, it was for my brother that he didn't want anymore. So I might, there's two of them. They're very cute. Um, if I had a picture, I'd include it, but sorry, I, I don't. But I, if I don't like it on my bed, my point is I could just have it draped over that and it would be fine. And it was also nine bucks on eBay, I think. Nine, ten dollars. It was cheap. Okay, I have a couple things left, but no, I like that blanket, but I need it to dry so I can see it like, on the, I'll, I'll like make my bed. I'll just throw my sheets and, or throw my duvet and the pillows around. But next thing I got, I got the same trip whenever I got um, the painting of the, or the print of the girl with the black frame and stuff and the white lamp sconce. And then at the same day at Goodwill, I got those like big, those two big, like preppy <laughs> feeling um, like, Cool. I don't know. Prints. I got these that same day. And they're not really my style a ton, but like sometimes whenever you see something that you really love and it's like in your color palette, because I love cobalt, like primary blue. Is this cobalt? I don't know. I found two of these. And I think back, I actually do feel kind of bad that I split up a set, but they weren't priced as a set. They were, they were priced individually. I found two of these. 
But then I found one of these and I just thought they'd look so cute together, but I now feel kind of guilty that I split off a set from a monster. Um, but no, I need to get some candlesticks for these. I have, I have some really cool, I have a couple really cool candlestick holders. I have this one vintage Ikea, like, silvery chrome, like, candelabra, like, for a table. I don't have a dining room table. Um, that my sister got me for my birthday, and I love it. Um, okay, last thing, and you can kind of see part of it. I wanted some sort of wall, small, like, wall bookshelf, and then I literally, re I realized, <laughs> I can't believe I forgot, my parents literally make them and sell them on Etsy, but, yeah, so I got through, I have three of these that... They literally had, because they were like return orders, and they were a set, and I painted them all. So we have this, is my favorite one. It's light blue with the little red bar. Um, and they are for like nurseries and stuff, I'm just gonna put like books and like a vinyl or something on them. Um, I have this like cobalt blue one that I spray painted because I didn't have the paint color. Um, with the red bar again. And then this little pale pink one with the red bar. Um, so yeah, I think it's so cute. If well, it's once again one of those things that's like very, very playful, and once again, if I don't like it, then I'll put it in my cute little. It sounds so sad, but like it's a good size closet inexplicably. It's a closet in a basement. It's like partially the under the stairs thing, which I've always, since I was a kid, like was obsessed with like under the stair coves. So it's like kind of that vibe. So if I don't like these in my bedroom, if they feel too like kiddish because they're literally nursery shelves. Then I will probably put them in there, but I really hope I like them. I, I think they're really pretty. They took me a while to paint, but I just love the color combo. These are my favorite colors, these four colors, um, if that wasn't prevalent already. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you want more decor videos, then let me know. I want to show like decorating my room whenever we do move in, hopefully in the next couple months. I'm going to do a video making that canopy thing, hopefully. It's honestly, I don't know when that'll come out because I won't be able to hang the canopy for a while, but I bought fabric that I'm going to like dye and like make like a pattern on. I bought like very cheap muslin, linen muslin fabric that I'm going to like dye and customize and stuff. So it might be like a two-parter video or I don't know if I do the second part because I don't know. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, I also want to do some videos just like talking about design and like my favorite things in design, some like Pinteresty videos just showing like Pinterest boards or just things I found on Pinterest. Um, I also want to show my sister's house, um, which you should check out the podcast to get a bit of her, I get a bit of my, my bestie, Emma. Um, so yeah, but, um, check out my Etsy shop if you want, check out my podcast, check out my TikTok, I guess, check out my Spotify. I make music too, by the way. Um, but yeah, so thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, do you like my Vivian Westwood necklace? It was a graduation present from my sister. It comes with earrings, but I wanted to wear these big star hoops. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you had a good time. Um, and you stay tuned. So, yeah.